Hello. I could eat about a million and a half of these. Well, nobody's perfect. Welcome to the It's a Drama podcast. Daddy, I love you. My mother thanks you. If you can't say something nice. All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. And welcome to episode three of It's a Drama podcast. Um, I am Liz Deacle. Hello. What? Oh, uh, hello. I'm Sunny Deacle. Don't take your coffee when we're just about to start. Don't take a mouthful of coffee because that's mm. really unprofessional. So. It's not unprofessional. Okay, so yeah, and um, we are here again, episode three. And today we're going to be talking about um, rejection, mm-hmm. social rejection, and sort of, um, yeah, we don't, we're, we're, tr- we're trying to, we're tr- we've had a big discussion about this and we're trying to decide um, where it crosses over from rejection to bullying. Yeah. Um, but before we start, mm. um, I think we should, you know, in case you're a new listener and you're, you've are you never listened to us before, um, I think we should do a little 20 second introduction about what we do and who we are. Okay, good idea. Yeah, yeah. So, All right. Then. Who are you, Liz? So, I'm you. I'm, I'm you. <laughs> I'm me. Yeah. <laughs> I am Liz Deacle, founder of It's a Drama Travel Blog, Travel and Lifestyle Blog, because we've stopped traveling for a while now. Yep, not forever. Uh, no, not forever. And um, yeah, so, and what do you want me to say about the podcast? Or so, who? Yeah, yeah. Um, the podcast is new. This is only our, I think it's our third episode. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We have got a secret episode that we haven't released yet. We have. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, but this is the third official episode yeah. in, in the series. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm Sunny Deco. I'm 17, and I still live with my parents. Oh God. <laughs> but you're not going to sing the song. No, I'm not going to sing the song. Yeah. Okay. So what it is is I am Sunny's mum, and we just had this idea that we were going to do this podcast and talk about stuff that, um, from an adult point of view and from a, um, a little boy's point of view. <laughs> <laughs> from Love a, this podcast from a very mature teenage point of view yeah. sorry i mean practically a bit of a funny an today yeah you are practically yeah. an adult yeah um I mean, you can probably say i was an adult now no not yet so what we want to talk about is um something that we that has happened to both of us in um oh over the last month it's quite a, quite a tricky subject this and not i must admit not one that i feel comfortable talking about which we've just discussed before we started the podcast we we're like oh should we just change the subject should we just talk about something else and it was like this podcast might not even be released it might not no mm. it might just sit if, if it goes pear-shaped in a few minutes yeah but you actually did say to me which is very mature no you've got to talk about it didn't yeah. you and I think by talking about stuff it helps people and let the people know yeah yeah but if, if other people are going or experiencing what I have experienced or you've experienced, then yeah. hopefully this podcast will help you. Yeah, it'll be like having someone to talk to, but not actually talking to us, we're talking to you, kind yeah. of a thing. Okay, so who wants to go first then? Who Do you want me to say about what happened, or do you want to say what happened to you? Um. Well, maybe we should give like a brief description overall of what happened to us both, yeah. and then individually say how it was different on both of us. Mm. So, um, basically we've been, how do you put it? Like, um, not socially rejected, but at the same time it kind of is, but not by a group of people, just by one person. Mm. So we were in a friend group, you know, it was the person and a load of other people. Hang on. Are you talking about you or are you talking about me? Um, are you talking about both both of us? I suppose. Yeah. 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 Um, so like, okay. So there's a person and they're in, um, a group, Mm -hmm. you know, it could be, we're not specifying who these people are. Okay, um, let, look, you just tell me what happened to you. Okay, That's just tell me. What, yeah, okay. So, um, what happened to me was I was in a group of um, friends, friends with a few people, mm-hmm. and um, I was friends with this other person. Um, I'm going to call them Sam for this for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, so me and Sam were really close. Okay. Um, um and uh, yeah, we used to hang out all the time. Yeah. Sam and me, and um, Sam and I. Sam and I. <laughs> grammar um i'm gonna correct you on everything now um so yeah sam and sam and i um we we hung out all the time and then all of a sudden um i come back from my trip around Mm. the world and Mm. all of a sudden sam doesn't want to be my friend anymore Mm. for some reason sam doesn't talk to me um but sam is a funny fellow sam seems to invite me over to his house and then just ignores me the whole time 
kind mm. of a thing. So it was very weird for me because I, whilst I was away, I was under the impression that I would come home and Sam would still be my friend. Mm. But I came home and it was completely different than when I left. And that kind of, I don't know, it kind of messed with me a bit. I was like, you know, I'm not going insane or something, but like, mm. it just kind of made me feel like, oh, why, why is, why is this happening? Why, why have I, what have I done to deserve this kind yeah. of thing, you know? Yeah. And it just made me feel down and rejected and kind of like, I didn't really mean anything to anyone anymore, you know? Um, I kind of just felt like I didn't have any real friends I could trust kind mm. of a thing. Because he'd like rejected you. Or... Yeah. Yeah. Did you feel like you could um, talk to him about it? No, not really. Why? Because I feel like he'd just laugh it off and take it as a joke kind of a thing. Not really take it seriously. Was he ever nasty to you? Looking back at comments he made on social media at the time, I thought oh, nothing of them. But now knowing that I'm back and the situa what the situation is, looking back at these comments that he made half a year ago, mm. they're really nasty, you know? Some really? of them are like, yeah, some of them are really targeting, you know? And it's like... Like what? Oh. Can you say? Um, Not without giving away who it is, really. When you say really nasty, what, like... Just like underlying, like, little attacks kind of a thing, you know? Um, what, attacks at your personality? Or? No, um, just attacks at, like... Situ a, a situation kind of a thing. So say, um, say, oh, I don't know how to put this. It's like, say I posted a picture, mm -hmm. um, and uh, like, so say I posted a picture, and um, it was of me at the beach. Yeah. And um, I tagged another person and said, oh, I really wish I was with this person right now. Yeah. Um, he would just comment and say like, and tag someone else completely irrelevant to the post mm. and say, actually, I think this post is meant for you, um, at Susan. Yeah. And then Susan would comment, oh, don't say that, you know, that's mean. And I'm like, oh, okay. And it's just, it's just stuff like that, you know, yeah. that looking back at the time, I was like, oh, okay, maybe it's just really hard to explain without giving away, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I suppose you, at the time you were like brushing it off and like, oh, yeah, he's just having just a bit having of fun. A joke. But then when I got back, it was like, oh, he's actually being quite horrible. Yeah. It just yeah. sort of like all added up and stuff. Yeah. And this um, isn't, I don't, I don't mean to go on and make it sound like, oh, this is a big drama in my life, but you know, it's No, just... do you know what? This has affected you in your life. So, mm. uh, you know, that's the trouble with a lot of us and I'm exactly the same is when something like this happens, because it isn't a big, because they haven't got you in the back alley and given you a punch in the face, it's almost yeah. like, oh, well, it's not that bad, but actually, you know, if he's been targeting you and saying nasty stuff to you, whether it's nasty or just like a little bit underlying nasty, if that has made made you feel sad, yeah, then that is, it, that is worth talking about. You know, it's not something that you should just brush off and no. just think, oh, well, it's not so important. It's not a massive drama because it is a massive drama to you yeah, because I know it has affected you a, a, a hugely, hasn't it? It just, just gives you something to think about all the time. Mm. You know? It's always on the back of your mind yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And while it's easy for people to say, oh, you know, forget it. He's, he wasn't that good a friend anyway. Just forget it. Then, But you can't, can you? No, you, know? you can't. No. No. So um, you're still not talking, obviously. No. Um, I think, no, okay, no, I wouldn't try. No, yeah, no, we're not talking. You no. have tried, haven't you? I've tried it a few times and I gave it a go, you know, a few times. I was like, okay. Maybe this time when I hang out with him, it will be different. But it never really was, you know? It never really was. It was just... I just... I said to you, um, I think I said to you the other day, there was a point, it was an exact point, and I know where it was, I was standing somewhere with these group of people, mm. and Sam was there. And there was an exact moment when I thought, oh my goodness... I don't have any friends here right yeah. now. I'm not with a single friend. And I was like, what am I doing here? And I, and I just like, and that was like, you know, mm. it was a pretty, um, that was like the, not rock bottom moment, but it was just the realization mm. kind of moment. And I was like, you know, it can't get any worse than this. Mm. So in a minute, we'll just talk about, um, what, what, what rejection is, how it, how, I mean, there's, there's, what's called social rejection and active rejection in, in a minute. Done some research. 
Yeah, I'll tell you what, we've, we're on our game today because when I came in from walking the dog, yep. I quickly screamed at you, didn't I? Do some yep. research because we're doing the podcast. Mm -hmm. So I saw you. I wasn't keen on doing it. <gasps> no, because, you weren't. You know, I've, I don't know. I'm just not. I saw you squirreling away there on your computer, writing down a few things. And yep. so, yeah. Top of the title on my page is common behavior seen in rejected children. So we'll get onto that in a second. Common behavior seen in rejected children. Yeah. Oh, no, let's stay on it at the okay. moment then, yeah. So We what, haven't talked about yours yet, though. No, but I, I just want to, because I want to be able to see if you, well, go on, what okay. are they? What are the common so, signs? Rejected, ch uh, sorry, rejected children are often either aggressive or anxious and withdrawn, mm. which I don't really feel any of those. I don't feel, oh, well, I certainly would have said I, you. I said I feel with, withdrawn. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I don't feel aggressive. Well, no, I don't feel aggressive um, or anxious. Mm. No, I don't. I don't feel aggressive you... or anxious. Anxious. I just feel. I'd say withdrawn is probably my biggest one. Withdrawn. Yeah. Um. I just feel like I'm kind of like separated from everyone at the moment, kind of a thing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What do you not? No, I just think that's not really... agree. Or... No, oh, God, okay. no, I agree. No, I just think it's just sad. You know, yeah. it's just like that you feel separated. The you know because of 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 that one individual that's made you feel like that. I suppose that's just um, a lack of knowing more people on my behalf, maybe. Because as soon as I went down to Wellington the other the other week for a drama course, all of a sudden I made all these new yeah. friends, and I yeah. realised all of a sudden that actually I can still make friends. Mm -hmm. So I suppose yeah, I'd kind of feel anxious. At one point, walking into there, I thought into your course, into the course, yeah. I was like, you've just you know done what? it. I you've... hope not everybody thinks I'm weird. I hope everyone likes me kind of a thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that is the effect of this guy socially rejecting you. So you've thought, yeah. you know, if you've, if it's done by one person, you're like, well, is everyone going to be like that again with me? But yeah. that, that, that really isn't the case, is it? No. Um, so if, yeah, I'm just thinking if someone out there is listening and they're going through exactly the same or their child's going through exactly the same, because it is so, so common. It's hugely common. Yeah. Um, and you know, a, a confident, popular guy like you, who was, <laughs> yeah, but you are sunny. Yeah, but you're not like, you know, you are. And it's not like you're not uh, uh, confident, certainly not. And it's just like, but it's affected you. And it's like, so imagine what that can do, you know, it's just, what I'm saying is, you went down to Wellington at the weekend, you went and did a drama course, you met with 20 other people that were on that drama course and you came out buzzing and you were just, weren't you? You were like, oh my yeah. God, I've just met some amazing people. They were kind. Yeah. They looked at your YouTube channel. They said yeah. how fabulous it was. That is a sign that just because one person rejects you in your social circle yeah. doesn't mean that everyone else is going to. You, mm -hmm. you know, it's... Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've written out down all my notes, and I'm looking at it, and all the words are just a blur, and I can't make out what without without stopping and reading them. So I'm just going to try and. Um, I can see one that just says, "Do not let rejection define you, and keep it in perspective." Yeah. And I suppose that's what we're trying to say here: is don't let rejection define you. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, you would just take take a second. Um, I'll read. A bit more on my one, and you yeah, can have a look okay. at your one. Yeah, I'll have um, a cup of tea. This is one for you, actually. Oh, oh you not just you, like mm. all, all the parents out there. Mm. And this is says, how to help a child or teenager overcome rejection. And the first one is, listen to your child when he or she is feeling rejected. Knowing he or she has unconditional love and support at home mm -hmm. can go a long way yeah, in definitely. boosting self-confidence. Definitely, yeah. It's just ha about having that um, safe place at home, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, it's just like all the crap that's going on out there. They want to know that when they come home, they've got someone to listen to yeah. them and talk to about it. And yeah, that that is a, a one thing that keeps coming up in all the studies that I've read on rejection Yeah, is don't keep it to yourself. No. Just talk about it. Yeah. Um. But I suppose, as it, it, you know, you've got shame attached to that as well. Like some kids will just feel a sh uh, feel shame that they've yeah. like, what's wrong with me? And so to just remember that I, exactly what we said earlier, it doesn't define you. It doesn't, you know, just keep it in perspective. This, mm -hmm. and just talk about it. Yeah. Just um, and also admitting, 
how you feel about it. That's the biggest yeah. thing. We'll go, I'll talk about that in a minute about what happened to me, but how fantastic it is that you, I mean, when this happened, the first thing you did was tell us, wasn't it? Yeah. Admitting that you're sad about it. You know, yeah. he was a friend. He, yeah, was, he was, you know, and you'd, and admitting those feelings and coming to terms with those feelings is, 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 um, really important, isn't yeah. it? In order for you to like pro process it and mm -hmm. move on, I suppose. Yeah. Um, the next one on the list, um, I suppose this is more of a, reading this, um, this is more of a whole when you're rejected by a group of people maybe, mm. and when you're at school, mm. um, and this one says, talk to your child about how close friendships are far more valuable than being popular and help them learn to strengthen the potential friendship or friendships they have. Yeah, so yeah. exactly. So... Which is what we were saying the other day, because I mean, your friend is a, is part of this group, but your other friends in that group, yeah, they're lovely. They're lovely, yeah. Yeah, and you. And spent all you need is one one of them to be a really good friend. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it's not so bad, you know. No, no. Yeah, yeah. So, do you want to give one of yours, maybe, or do you want to talk about? I'll your just one, I'll just I'll just tell you, yeah. Yeah. What? what? Let's just okay. Just talk about your one. Yeah. So, um, mine is. Mine is when I started doing my blog, I um, I was never really big into Facebook and on social media, but when you start a blog, you have to hit social media hard and and social media is fantastic for getting, um, so, God, my heart is like pounding really fast. That's just take your time. Yeah, so it's like, take a sip of tea. <laughs> I'm just going to take a sip of tea. Social media is great for finding support groups. Mm-hmm. Okay, so whatever you're doing is, um, you can find a support group around that. Yeah. And mine was um, everything that I was doing online. And uh, when you go on Facebook and you type in support for every, uh, anything that you're doing, yeah. blogging or, you know, start editing. editing, whatever, you can find support groups for it. And so I found this support group in this private, and I'm, I'm now a member of lots of private groups on mm -hmm. Facebook. And one um, particular group that I was, uh, was run by this um, person and yeah. I became friends with her and we became very good friends and um, known her for about a year online. And mm -hmm. yeah, we, I, I, I looked up to her, I trusted her and I thought we were friends. And, um, you know, we had, I can't really say any more than I thought we were friends. I just, I did, yeah. you know, I, I, she knows a lot more than I do and um, I looked up to her. I still do. Well, I looked up to her. Yeah. And um, to cut a long story short, I um, wrote a blog about something. I wrote a blog post about something. Yeah. And um, I posted it. Mm -hmm. And she obviously didn't agree with um, what I'd been writing about. Yeah. And rather than come to me um, on Messenger or phone me, or she wouldn't phone me, but rather than come to me on Messenger or privately, yeah. she put on our um, private group chat. Yeah, our, with our, how many people? Then? Um, I don't know, about 30. Yeah. Um, what she thought of me. Yeah. And let's just say the language was explicit. Mm. Um saying that I was an effing idiot and, um, you know, yeah, ugh, just, I, I saw the message yeah, you and did. it was targeted, yeah. targeted at you. Yeah. Um, it singled you out. It shamed you yeah. and it made you feel, I remember you, it made you feel angry. Um, but at the same time, it also made you feel, I'd say, um, scared of what the people, other people in the group would think of you. Um, after she put, because she was the the ringleader yeah. of the group, wasn't yeah. she? Yeah. And I suppose before if, before she'd written that message, her opinion meant everything to yeah. you. You know. Yeah. Um. Of, yeah. Exactly. And then I suppose as soon as it was turned onto you, you just felt singled out and made to feel, um, you know. I just um, felt like a piece of yeah dirt, really. Yeah. You know, I did. I just felt I she 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 tagged me in on it, so mm -hmm. it was like. Liz Deacle, you know, what mm. the effing hell. Yeah, oh, I won't go into the details, but it was just, 
Yeah. It was nasty. It was nasty. It was nasty. And at first I saw it and I just, I thought it was a joke, you know? I thought it was a joke. Yeah. I thought, is this some sort of joke? Yeah, like she'd been hacked. Yeah, like I thought she'd been hacked and I was just, and um, yeah, I was angry, Sunny. Yeah. Um, You probably saw the anger in me, but the minute I read that, I felt like a a little five-year-old kid that was just being kicked under a table, you know? It was just, I felt horrible. Yeah. I just felt exactly like we've just said about you. I felt shame. I just felt... um, I just felt, I felt scared. I just, yeah, I did you feel scared. You start doubting yourself almost, yeah, don't you? Yeah. You start doubting that. And you start thinking that actually you are in the wrong. Yeah. And you weren't in the wrong. Exactly. It and was I, just I completely... wasn't. And, and so, and, but the biggest thing, and this is why I just want to talk about what's called cyberbullying. Mm-hmm. Um, cyberbullying, the definition of cyberbullying is when you send, post or share um, some personal or private information about someone else causing them to be embarrassed or humiliated. Now, <laughs> I was both embarrassed yeah. because I was, I'd was i been told that I was an effing idiot in front of 30 other people. Yeah. Um, and I was humiliated. Mm-hmm. So I would have said um, that was cyberbullying. And yeah, it was... I wanted to say that this was... Um, I wanted to, to for this podcast to be talked... We was going to be talking about cyberbullying, but actually... Um, when you look at the definition of um, bullying, it's when something is continuous, yeah. and that wasn't continuous. It was, yeah. it was, and neither was yours. It was just literally, it was a one-off, bang. You know, I'm going to really shame and humiliate you. I'm going to make you look like an idiot. Um, yeah, and so I wouldn't say it was. Probably wasn't cyberbullying. It was more of rejection that we, you know, we were talked about earlier. Yeah. Um, but the after that happened to me, I am gl- I did. I, I after that happened to me, I went and read like a week later yeah. after I got over the shock of like, oh my god, you know, it's just she's she's. I mean, she blocked me. She did everything to me. Yeah. She. I couldn't get. You know. Mm-hmm. That was it. I was exactly the same as you. Mm-hmm. I was outed in my social circle, yeah. but it was done online. Yeah. Um, now, yeah, when you are like when someone targets you like that online, it says the things that you're supposed to do is don't reta- don't retaliate and don't overreact, yeah. um, but fight back in a calm matter- manner. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, hang on a minute. There's some notes coming through. Yeah. What's what's he said? Keep talking. Make this okay. Keep talking. Right, okay. Or so we're gonna make this. Um, so our Chief, um, sound engineer, sound engineer, Brian. aka my dad. Um, <laughs> he's written on a piece of paper. He said, "Keep talking," um, and we're going to make this a two-part podcast. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this will be a. Um, obviously, we're going to do this in one take, but we're going to. We've got on the timer. We've got one minute forty seconds. So we're going to make this a two-part podcast. Um, so obviously, part two will be released next week. So do we just keep talking now and then yep. just split it? Um. But what we'll do is we'll just wrap this podcast up now, oh, okay. and then um, we can continue with the with the second half. Okay. So are we so, wrapping it up? Um, we'll wrap it up after I've just said this one comment. Um, what I suppose, um, what helped you, um, with, with that message, mm. um, like like this says, um, the love at home and stuff like that. Yeah. Is if you'd been alone, like a single mum mm. or so, just a single woman, and yeah. like she'd written that about you, and you didn't have, um, you know, us to, you know, to yeah, support you, I think support. it would have been worse. Gotcha. Because, you know, we were all there saying, you know, she, she's horrible, she's done this, she, she shouldn't have said that, you know, all your work is amazing and stuff like that. Um, and I think with anyone that's being bullied, all they need is someone at home you're right. and a good friend yeah, you're right. to help them through and yeah. love them and support them. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Because the first thing I did when I got that message, I was in the in the toilet because I saw, oh, you know, she's made, it comes up on your phone. Yeah. So-and-so has tagged you in on. I thought, oh, I'll just go and see what she said. So yeah. I went to my office in the toilet so no one could disturb me. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I'm sitting there and it's like, oh my God, you know, yeah. what the hell is this all about? Now, the first thing I did was come into the front room where you were watching a DVD, weren't yeah. you? And I said... Oh, can you I just just pause it? I've just um, I want to show you something and shared it with you. Now I shared it with three other people. You, de- uh, you, you, my Brian, uh, your dad, and yeah. Tess. 
And each one of you read the message and were like, okay, well, this is how I take that. And that's how I, and, and like you say, you did, you gave us the support, my, me the support of like, oh, don't, you know, don't worry about it. And don't, don't, yeah, not don't worry about it. You didn't brush it off, but you were like, well. We just said, don't let it. Mom, define don't you. let it define you. Yeah. Don't let it get to you because yeah. that's exactly what that person wants, mm -hmm. kind of a thing. Yeah, and the same with you. Yeah. So, so I'm confused now. Are we stop in this. Okay. Or? So what we're going to say is thank you guys so much for listening this week. Um, we're going to continue this podcast. Um, now and then we're going to release the second half next week. Oh, okay. I get yeah. you. So, um, thank you guys so much for listening. Make sure you rate us uh, five stars on iTunes if you did enjoy. Um, head over to the blog. And yeah, um, leave, 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 a, a comment. leave a comment yeah, yeah. if you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you guys and finish this podcast next week. So okay. yeah, All see right you then. then. See you then. Bye. 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 Thank you so much for joining us this week on the podcast. We have loved having you here. If you guys could subscribe to us on iTunes and leave us a five star review. Oh yeah, that would be nice. That would be absolutely amazing. And make sure to share the podcast with your friends. And if you'd like to hop over to the blog, find one of the little boxes that ask you to drop your email. I will send you a newsletter every week letting you know when we have released our new podcast. That Ooh, will go nice. straight into your <laughs> inbox. So it's www itsadrama.com Alright guys, enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you next week for another podcast. Look forward to it. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.